Well, hello. Uh, today, we are working on a little project that we need to get together because winter time's upon us. And last year, we had a lot of problems with water freezing, water pipes, and of course, uh, our our, uh, our house is probably 200 feet away from here. And this is where we get our water for the barn for the goats. So what we're going to do this year is we're going to put put in one of these freeze-proof hydrants. The way this works is when you turn it on, you get your water, of course. When you turn it off, any water that's left in this pipe comes out a wheat pole down here. That will be about a foot and a half, two feet underground. Uh, then, of course, it, there's nothing there to freeze. So you come back the next morning, even though it may be 30 degrees outside and everything else is frozen, you can still have water and not have to ferry it from uh, your house out to the barn. Uh, what we've been working on here is we've basically dug up what is currently here so we can see what's underground to know what materials that we need to go get from the store. So we're fixing to pull out all of this and just basically clean it up a little bit, make it nicer and neater and put our new hydrant in so when the ground freezes and the water freezes outside, we can still provide water to our goats. So we're going to be off to the store, go get our materials, and we'll see you in just a minute. We just got back from the store here just a little bit ago. We had to go get all the stuff, but I, I'm not going to show you all the individual things that we do on how to put it all together. Uh, what I will show you is we just kind of have it all laid out like this. Uh, basically what you do when you go in the store if you're a novice like me you want to make sure you get everything that you need so when you get back home you don't go oh crap I gotta go back to the store because I'm missing something so we laid it all out I drew a little diagram or whatnot and got in the store laid it all out and got all the stuff that I needed and now going from here we're gonna stick this on here we're gonna get this stuff sorted out we're gonna attach it all and get it ready to put outside We'll do that inside, then we'll go outside, finish digging our hole that we talked about a few minutes ago, and then we'll put it all together. We'll see you shortly. Well, we got everything done in the shop, uh, put everything together, come down, attached it all, put our pebbles in the ground, covered it up, and then went, uh-oh, I forgot to shoot video. Uh, that's okay, no problem. Because I'm going to send you over to Navajo Pa 31 on YouTube. There'll be a link down in the comment section to link you to how to actually do this from beginning to end. He did a fantastic job with a lot of little neat tips and tricks on how to make things work. All the little parts that you need and all that kind of stuff. My job here today was just to show you this is one way to have water out for your goats just to keep it from freezing when it when winter time comes and if uh, it makes things easier you just grab the lever and pull it up and down to let the water open and close whatever uh, one thing to tell you is uh, if you've got an attachment on there like a manifold like we do because we've got hoses going in all different directions uh, we can't leave that on there during the winter time because even though it is some kind of I don't know what kind of metal it is. It looks like copper, but I believe it's just galvanized steel or something like that. It's not very strong, but it will freeze and it will crack uh, if it has water in it. So we always make sure we take this off before winter time or before freezing time comes. That way we don't lose this piece as well and we just have to attach the hoses as needed if they're not frozen because uh, hoses with water obviously will freeze right so you got to do what you can on the farm to make sure that you can get fresh water out uh, to do the different things that you need to do uh, other than that um, that's about it this is what it looks like when it's in the ground I've got some bricks around the base of it uh, Navajo Pa he, he actually did a concreted in section and we'll probably come back in and do that later but today we just wanted to finish the project so we could have us a drink and go in the house and enjoy some nice uh, lunch today. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time.